So, I remember James Joe Brown, soul brother number one, making me feel black and proud, and I said it loud. My godfather of soul taught me to want nobody to give me nothing. Open up the door, and I'll get it myself. I mean with my bad self. Do you hear me now, now? He called us on being jived by talking loud, ain't saying nothing. We go to house parties in our hot pants, drink punch, and baby, baby, I got the feeling. Then we get up off of that thing, cause we had ants in our pants and we needed to dance. And we start dancing like a sex machine. We do the funky chicken and the popcorn and we try to do the infamous James Brown style. Then we get up, uh, get on up, uh, there with James Brown in the house, we were gonna have a funky good time. I had the opportunity to see the hardest working man in show business at the House of Blues in AC. James would call the whole family. Mama, come here quick. Come here, sister. Then he'd tell the brothers, we got to get up and do our thing. Because Papa got a brand new bag. Hey, I got it. Ain't it funky now? Then balladeer that he was, he would start with, try me. Then he'd tell us, this is a man's world. And finally get down on his knees and beg, please, 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 please. But you can bet you hadn't seen nothing yet till you see him do the James Brown. Put that cape on and slide across the floor on the good foot. Then he'd break down in a cold sweat and bring the house down. He had soul and he was super bad. Soul brother number one didn't just want to keep it for himself. He always asked that we give the drummer some. A poor boy from Augusta, GA, <laughs> impacted the music industry like no other. You could hear his influence in R&B, rock and roll, and hip hop. James owned several radio stations, a record label, and a studio. Now that was the big payback. I will never forget the godfather of soul. He truly took me higher. Whenever I think of him, I'm sure I feel good, like he knew that I would. And I'll feel nice, like sugar and spice. So good, so nice, cause I got you. I miss you, Mr. Dynamite, Godfather Soul. From the top of your dyed and fried, down to the bottom of your James Brown slide. We love you, Soul Brother Number One. a rushing wind, wiping out our formerly known behavior patterns, washing away our white sins. We went to a lot of meetings, workshops, and rallies too, passed our paraphernalia gear to the black point of view. We challenged the establishment, became suspicious of the system, scrutinized everything we read, questioned anything that ended with ism. Dickinson was replaced by Brooks, we gave a cross for Baraka. We memorized the Red Book, Pan-Africanism became our Magna Carta. We used to whisper black, but now we shouted loud. We were no longer Negro or colored. We were black and we were proud. We were taught new manners on how to greet each other, referring to black men and women as our sisters and our brothers. We stopped eating pork because swine and red meat was jive. We were introduced to soul, organic vegetables, and brown rice. Conkaline and perms were transformed to afros and cornrows. Names like Angela, Huey, and Malcolm became our new heroes. We went from high heels to high tops, from psychedelic scarves to black tams. We practiced martial arts to defend ourselves against the man. Comrades didn't wear dresses. We mostly wore fatigues, which really came in handy when we went on retreat. We learned survival 
several techniques. We played a few war games. We were making preparation for when the revolution came. When I look back on that era and reflect on that time, it wasn't just a change of consciousness. It was about revolutionizing the mind. The mind. The mind. the brown side of town. You'll know it when you get there cause things will start to change. The ambiance, the sound, the smells all different but somehow the same. You'll notice similarities when you get in the general vicinity. Seem like every other house hang photos of Jesus, Malcolm, Martin, and one or both of the Kennedys. Down the road is the juke joint where you can get ribs by the slab. Drink top shelf, a brew, or a little something something from a mason jar in a brown paper bag. Drop a quarter in the rock cola to hear your favorite tune. Rhythmatic feet dance the latest craze across a crowded sawdust floor that has seen better days. A dude named Big Red will be man in the back room with a wink and a pistol that don't miss. Hook you up with whatever you need. Get in the game of crack, tonka, big whips. There'll be lots of amen corners, single structures and storefronts too. The elk slides, the post, and the Masonic Hall is where you'll pay your dues. In the elders lie a wealth of history that really can't be measured. Tapping into their resources is like finding buried treasure. In little pockets across the nation, a rich heritage can be found. You only need to venture over to the brown side of town. I'm talking about the brown side of town, y'all. This is so 
Give the band a hand. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna make everybody up. Yeah, what you I got you. Uh, I don't have uh, a computer. Like All right, y'all, once again, put your hands together for Miss Aziza.